Okay, good morning guys. So this week we're going to be looking at graphs and averages and we'll explore those on in a little bit but first we're going to do our fluency starter. So there are five questions there. You've got to decide which ones to do mentally, which ones to do with the written method, see if you can solve them all and we'll go through the answers and I'll tell you which one should have been solved mentally, which one should have been written. So if you pause it now and then hopefully we're unpaused we'll go through some answers. So question number one was 60 times three. That was a mental method because all you really had to do was forget the zero. Six times three is 18. Put your zero back on for 180. Question number two, numbers had no relevance to each other. There weren't any matching numbers. So it was a written method, column subtraction, ending up with 12,719. Question three, three single digit numbers, should be quick add-in. So 9 out of 7 out of 8 or 7 out of 8 out of 9, whatever way you want to do it, you end up with 24. Question number 4, we need to fill the gap, but we know anything with an answer of 0. When we're multiplying, must be times by 0. So 7 times 0 equals 0. And the last one was a written method, because again, most numbers have no relationship, so we just need to add them together using the column method for 560,641. Right, so let's move on to our learning. So our learning intention today is to understand averages. Okay, so the picture shows how many pizza slices each child ate for lunch. So this boy ate five slices, this girl ate four slices, and these all ate two slices. So how much pizza is that per child? We to explore how we can use averages to do that. So there are lots of different methods. So the first method we can use, she's put it in almost a graph or a chart. So we've got someone eating four pieces, two pieces, five pieces, two pieces, and two pieces. But what she said is if instead each child ate the same number of slices. So what she's done is counted the number of slices, which is 15, and then shared them out equally. So given one to each person until we've done it. Just like in year one when you used to share your teddies in different hoops, that's what she's done. So each person gets three. So she's saying on average, three slices each. You can see that. This boy's method, how many slices did each child eat? He says two slices per child because he's said that the number of people who ate two slices is one, two, three. The number of people who ate four slices is one person. And the number of people who ate five slices is one person. So have a think, why might he have said that it's two slices per child? We'll have a look in a second. And this girl's method, she's put them in a chart again. And she said that this one was an arrow pointing saying two slices, and she says two slices per child. But she's used a different method to that boy. Hmm, they are a different reason. So why could she be saying it's two slices? Well, let's have a look at all three. The first method shared the total as if each child ate the same. So you add up all the pizza slices and share them equally. The boys' method looked at the most popular number of slices. So, were three people had two slices? That was the most popular, so they had two slices. That's the average. Uh, but actually, saying the average is two slices because the two was in the middle. If I flick back quick, it's in the middle of that chart. We've got goes up in ascending order. So, two, 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 four, then five. Two is in the middle, so that's her average. All different ways of calculating the average. We're going to look at them all over the coming weeks. But one we're going to focus on today is this top method here, sharing out. So if we look at the picture graph number one, it shows children in three groups. You have blue group, purple group, green group. It says on average, how many children are there in each group? Okay, it's saying on average. It's not actually asking you to just count how many children are in each group. Now we could do this by just looking at the lowest group. There's four there, crossing out these ones to make all the groups the same. So we've all got four, and then that means we've got one, two, three, four, five, six left over, share them out equally, which means two more to each, like that. So we will have six, six, and six. Easier way to do it, let's do it numerically. So in group number one, we had eight. Group number two, we had six. Group number three, we had four. Add them all up. Eight out of six out of four is 18. And then divide by the number of groups, which means share them out equally. Number dividing and sharing mean the same. 18, share between three, everyone gets six. On average, you have six children per group. Nothing too tricky there.
We move on to this one. Now, averages can be decimals and can be fractions, okay? So we need to remember our fifth question because I spent a little while thinking they got this question wrong when in fact all we need to do is decimalize. So the bar graph shows the number of cupcakes four friends bought at a bakery. This one bought three, this one bought one, this one bought six, and this one bought four. Obviously Miss Hartley and the green. Um, so what we're going to do now... Hello, I'm back. I was interrupted with a cup of coffee, which is quite nice, but let's carry on. So we were talk talking about what these people had. So where we go from here, we're going to add our four numbers here and then we're going to divide through by the number of people but I say three add one add six add four is 14 four people bought them so we divide by four which leaves us with an average of 3.5 cupcakes I've done it numerically all I did was show it here to make everyone have the same to make sure it adds to 14 we had to have bars that added to 3.5 okay so on average we had 3.5 moving on from that We've got a graph showing how much this girl spent over five days. So five days is important. There's five bits of data. So five amounts spent. Do exactly the same thing. We add up all the amounts spent, all the data we've got. So one add 1.4, add 1.2, add 1.8, add 1 is 6.4. Then we divide through by how many days we have. So 6.4 divided by 5 equals 1.28. So on average, you spent £1.28 per day. What we did was add them up, divide through by the number of days, and then we're golden. We're there. So nothing too tricky. Just add up all your data and divide through by the total number of bits of data that you've got. Brilliant. So what you're going to do for me is you're going to pause in a second and you're going to crack on with your workbook. You're then going to go on the website and find your answers and get it marked. Then come back and we'll have the plenary and the challenge question. Okay, so if you pause it now. And hopefully we're unpaused and we've marked our work and we're going to move on. So the plenary, Hannah went on a cycling holiday. The table shows how far she cycled each day. So 32.3 kilometres, 38.7, 43.5, 45 45.1. She's saying on average I cycled over 40 kilometres a day. Show that she's wrong. So we've got to prove her wrong. Use exactly the same method we've been using. So you're going to add them all up and divide through by the total number of bits of data. Okay, so you're going to pause it, have a go at it. And then unpause and we will crack on for that. So give it a pause now. And hopefully we're unpaused and we'll go through the method. So what we do is we add up all four of the numbers. So 32.3, 38.7, 43.5, 45.1. And that equals 159.6 kilometres. What we do with that is we look at the total number of bits of data we had. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we divide our answer by 4, which leaves us with 39.9. Go back to a question. Hannah's saying on average I cycled over 40 kilometers a day. It's 39.9 over 40. No, it is not. So it says she cycled over 40 kilometers a day, and we've proven that she in fact does not. Silly Hannah. Okay, so we have proved that Hannah was wrong. Brilliant. That's it for today. So if you've done your other learning, brilliant. Go and crack on another break. If you've got your other learning to do, go and get it done nice and quick. And I will be another video tomorrow. See you later.